just had to triple check that my mic was working after that little conundrum that we had the other week. Today I'm gonna go around the house. I'm gonna show you where some stuff is from. I'm only gonna do the top level of the house today. So it's gonna be the lounge room, it's gonna be the dining room. The other rooms, so like my office, and then downstairs we have Mitch's office, our bedroom, and like the ensuite and things like that. I'll probably do them in another video because the bedroom is sort of half done at the moment. But the more time that we've been spending in lockdown here in Melbourne, the more I'm just like, I just want to decorate it in a different kind of way. I'm definitely not done and there's something really, really cool that I have planned for the bedroom, which I will film in a separate video. Before I started changing the decor style, I went on Pinterest and I put together inspiration images. For me, inspiration images when you're changing a space don't necessarily have to be of a space. It can be of anything, of a feeling, of like a color palette, whatever. So I'll put some of the ones that I put together on the screen. And then when I start planning, I ask myself like, well, do I have anything currently that I can change to match this? And you'll see when we go around some of the things I painted or covered. And then I ask myself, instead of buying something new, is there anything that I can buy like secondhand or vintage? And as we go around as well, I'll show you there are some things that I got which are antique and there are some things that I got secondhand. Also, full disclosure, I was going to vlog this week, but we're still in lockdown, so. You know, when we start to come back out and I can do things and bring you with me, I'm absolutely gonna start doing that again. But for now, let me go around the house and show you where some things are from. This is what you see when you first come up the stairs. Our entry is actually downstairs. The portraits of the dogs, very important, clearly, but let's start in the lounge room. This is the same couch we've always had. I just purchased a new cover for it. I do normally find my couch covers on Etsy. Just make sure to measure yours properly. I find that this is a really simple way to get a new look without actually having to buy a whole new couch. I also just changed the covers on the cushions. In the corner, I have an eye-cross table with a glass lamp from Temple and Webster on it, and of course, my favorite plant corner. A lot of the plant pots have been repainted or changed. Some of them are still in their older ones, which I'll get around to when I repot them. Now this is a reproduction armchair. We sold our other one on Facebook Marketplace and oh my god, that place is full of time wasters. I actually started changing this stuff about three months ago so I feel like there's a lot to catch you guys up on. This coffee table is from Broza and I didn't want everything to look too grandma in the place so I decided to put something a bit more modern in. And over in the corner I have some plant stands, they're from Temple and Webster, and it's to make sure that my plants are elevated and out of the way of the rabbits. The black candles I have are from Candle Kiosk, and I really like the atmosphere they create, it's really cool to light them at night. I actually found this sideboard on eBay, it's an antique and it was in Sydney, so I had to get them to ship it down, and yes, we have an exercise bike snuck into the corner over there. Just such a good way to get the cardio done in winter. On the left, they're the same plants that I had there before, um, but as you can see, they're the cover pots and I just repainted them. I literally went on a painting spree. So some of the plants are still in lighter pots, but you know, I'm just gonna change them. I found this telephone chair on Facebook Marketplace. I was not a time waster. I just messaged him and said I would buy it. <laughs> um, I thought the dark blue would look quite cool because I wanted to create romantic, like dark feel in this place. I found the rug and the console table on Temple and Webster. Now there's a few accessories on this console which I'll go through. I found this antique picture and the gold candle holder both on Etsy and I thought the picture would be really good for flowers but it leaks so it's just for display. The bust is secondhand but I've seen heaps of places with them online now. I'm actually thinking about changing the drawer handles to maybe a gold, but the wood is uneven. I'll show you guys. What do you think 
I should do. See that? One side is thin and one side is thick. Please throw me your opinions because I'd love to change it, I'm just not sure. Over to the right, I have my bench where I film a lot of cooking things and the mirror on top is from 1930. How wild is that? I actually I found it at a place called Roy's Antiques and that's just in Melbourne. He was so nice when I went in and bought this off him. I love hearing people who are super passionate about what they do. The bench is the same trolley from Ikea that I've always had, but I just painted it black. And next to it, we have our little bunny litter box, or one of them, and the hay feeder is attached to it. I found a man that makes them on Etsy, and he's based in Melbourne as well. The trolley basically just holds my tea and some other bits and bobs, like watering cans and some spare plant pots for now. Our dining chairs do actually need replacing because Mitch is about 100 kilograms and these chairs were not made for that. We've had them since our last place. I can't decide what to replace them with though, so I've just kept them. The table accessories are secondhand and I found them on Etsy as well. And the table itself is just from Ikea and it pulls apart into a large table, which we thought would be great when we have people over because I like to keep it compact most of the time. But when we do have friends here, it's so nice to be able to pull it apart and actually have room on the table for everyone to sit comfortably. Refreshing the space has actually helped me a bit during lockdown as it, you know, it's really given me something to focus on other than just coaching work or building the PCOS program. And I felt like I needed something creative to dip my toes into, even if it's literally just painting the plant cover pots or, you know, painting the plant stands and things like that. As I change up the bedroom, I'll put together a blog post on my personal journal so you can see what I do and also a video. And I wanted to say thank you to my website host Squarespace for partnering with me on today's video. Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform which allows you the easiest way to showcase your brand, band, portfolio or whatever it is that you need to share. They have world-class 24-7 customer support service and the easiest blogging capabilities I've ever used. They also have in-depth analytics so you know exactly what people want to see on your website. It's really simple to put together a site which represents your brand with their plug and play templates that you can customize and the ability to add custom coding if you like. So you can start with a free trial today and experience exactly why they're my choice of web host. And when you're ready to publish your site, use the link which I've put on the screen there or I've also got another link in the description box for you and that's going to take 10% off your first purchase. I've actually had some DMs from you guys showing me the sites that you built and it's been so cool because it's such an easy site builder that you can really create an excellent experience with it. Thank you for tuning in to another video and I'll be back with the other part of my house in another one soon.